Hey there folks, today's battle is an NU match against Super Yoshi the First One, who I met through the Smog on Wi-Fi Battle Finder. There's a link to his channel in the description. I'm going to go ahead and lead off with my Specs Glaceon, nicknamed Kyoko. Um, people really don't expect Specs Glaceon. My opponent was obviously expecting me to switch out, uh, and so here I'm safe to go for the boosted, really powerful Shadow Ball. I mean, boosted just because I've got a choice specs. So here I counted, I knew this was going to KO, so his uh, Floatzel is down and on the first turn. That's great for me. Now, out now, my opponent is going to send, uh, whatchamacallit this thing? Um, throw, and I'm going to switch out into Yankee Doodle, expecting uh, some kind of fighting type move. I knew that I couldn't one-hit KO with Shadow Ball, or rather with any other type of move, because these things tend to be really, really bulky, especially now that, you might think, was a misclick. I actually have no moves to hit this thing, uh, now that I see that Leech Seed doesn't work. I wasn't sure whether Leech Seed would go behind a sub. Uh, it ba basically, I think in Gen 1 it would, and I, the article I was reading was talking about gener uh, Generation 1, so yeah, that was a bad move for me, but hey, good to know for the future. Anyway, Lemon, my Stunfisk, is going to get Circle Throat out, and Glaceon is going to be back out. That's actually okay with me. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and go for Ice Beam. I don't think that Circle Throw is going to one-hit KO, because I am running this really strange slow spec set, running max uh, HP, max special attack, minimal speed. I don't know that I'm running any speed investment. Uh, anyway, Circle Throw out into Jump Pluff. Going to go ahead and go for the Sleep Powder on this next turn, just to try to neutralize this humongous threat. He's easily the biggest threat on his team. Uh, unfortunately, he's going to switch out into Mag Mortar, and so he's going to stay away thanks to that sleep pad. I really actually should have gone for the uh, leech seed. That would have probably been a better move. Anyway, gonna send out Star Looker, my Scarfed Embor. Gonna take that Fire Blast, although I'm actually not gonna take it as well as I thought I'd be able to take it. 177 HP is not that good. I'm um, gonna go ahead and go for the Earthquake. Uh, again, I am Scarfed. He wasn't expecting me just to be Scarfed. I think he said in the battle that he was expecting me to be Banded. Uh, nope, not Banded. Gonna easily take him out. That's great for me. Now, though, he knows I'm Scarfed, so he's able to send in his Troll Pluff. Nothing I can do. I send out Lemon, um, and he's gonna go for the Swords Dance. Was not expecting Swords Dance on this set, uh, and now that I see that he's running it, I'm a little bit wary. Uh, I really wish, actually, I could send out my, uh, Jump Pluff here, but, uh, it's really not gonna help me out. Anyway, he goes for the Sleep Powder, so he does carry the Sleep Powder. I really wish that if he'd hit, and I predicted that, it would've been epic because I could've gone for the Sleep Talk. Anyway, Discharge, I was really hoping for the Parallax. Don't get it. He goes for the Seed Bomb here. I'm expecting him to go for the Sleep Powder again, and so I went for the Sleep Talk for an epic prediction, but he out-predicted me, and that's really not good. Lemon is now down to only 122 HP. I cannot take another Seed Bomb. I'm gonna have to switch out. I send out my Kenyan, um, that that is my Skun Tank. It's running this kind of weird Trapper set. It's a mixed set, and it really doesn't do very well. I've actually since rebred this Pokemon to be a little bit better. It's it's now running kind of a faster set. Uh, as you'll see it eventually. Um, anyway, he goes for Acrobatics. Was really hoping he didn't carry a move like that. I really should have actually expected that, considering he wasn't carrying an item or wasn't carrying an obvious item. So he's going to be able to take me out, and that's really not good. I was actually expecting him to switch out, and I think I went for the Pursuit. So anyway. Now he's going to put my um, uh, my Armaldo to sleep. That's Felix my Armaldo, and so I'm going to have to switch out. Uh, although I'm going to actually just see how well I can take a hit. Maybe I can take a few, uh, but no, I can't take more than one acrobatics. So yeah, gonna go ahead and um, switch out here. I'm actually going to switch, so now I have one Pokemon to sleep, so he can't use Sleep Powder anymore until that Pokemon wakes up or is KO'd. He goes for the Acrobatics against my uh, switched in, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Stunfisk, and I get the Static Activation, that's great, I was actually really hoping for that, I, it's, it's bad to hope for hacks, but in this case I really needed it, and so here I can go for the rest, recover back up to full HP, and I'll be able to use Sleep Talk to attack, and I'm hoping that basically he will get paralyzed enough that that uh, Seed Bomb won't be an issue. So Seed Bomb is going to go ahead and hit. It's going to do a massive, massive chunk of damage. I'm down to 158, and I'm really just hoping that he's going to get paralyzed and that I'm going to get discharged uh, as my selected move. I've got a 1 in 3 chance of it. Here comes the Sleep Talk, and I'm like, come on, discharge, come on, discharge. Instead, I get the Scald. 
Uh, that's not good. It doesn't really do anything. And my opponent is not going to get fully paralyzed. He's going to go for the seed bomb, and my lemon is going to get taken out. Um, so it is now a tie game. 4-4. Uh, four, four. Wait, hold on. Yeah, 4-4 four, four because I've taken out two of his Pokemon. He's taken out two of mine. Send out Starlicker. Gonna go ahead and lock myself into Flare Blitz, seeing that none of his Pokemon that are remaining are really going to enjoy a Flare Blitz to the face, and I'm pretty sure I outrun his entire team. So yeah, that's okay for me. Now, depending on the set of this Armaldo, I may be able to take it out with a Flare Blitz. Uh, I'm not sure. The calcs will be in the description. So here I go for it, and it does more than half, but it is not enough to get, get me the KO. I was hoping that maybe he uh, set up Stealth Rocks this first turn, expecting my switch. But no, he's going to take out my Star Looker, and now it's a, back to being a tie game 3-3. Three, three. Uh, really not a good situation for me. I really actually should have switched out Yankee Doodle in the first place because I could have just, you know, expected him to either go for the Earth... Well, if he'd gone for a Stone Edge, which actually I was kind of expecting, then that wouldn't have been a good situation for my Yankee Doodle. Um, so I am going to put him to sleep. Uh, I was really hoping that he'd switch out into someone else. He doesn't, so now that's really not the best Pokemon to have uh, put to sleep, especially this is the Pokemon that I wanted put to sleep. I really wish I hadn't gone for the sub, and I really wish I had thought a little bit better here um, and switched out. So I go for the aroma. Oh, okay, I go for the aromatherapy. That's really what I was going for. I wanted to wake up Felix because Felix is going to be the best counter for his Duosion now that Skuntank is dead. So he goes through the Trick Room. This is really, really not going to be good for me. So now my whole strategy is going to be to um, stall out the Trick Room. So basically, I'm going to go ahead. He's going to go ahead and take uh, take out my sub with a psychic. Um, I really should have just kept on going for subs, and it would have been much better. But I basically really, really needed to uh, stall out the trick room. That's my my really, my really, ah, really my only hope. Um, here, I was hoping that he might go for another move besides psychic. I just go for a sub just to use up a turn. I am stalling him out. Uh, he goes for another psychic, and that is going to be curtains for Yankee Doodle. Uh, I really need to come up with a better set for that thing, or replace it with another cleric. Um, I thought about Altaria. Altaria might work. Anyway, um, Felix is going to get taken out by uh, by a psychic. The trick room didn't end. The trick room ends now. And so I send out Kyoko. I go for the blizzard. And I actually counted that this blizzard would one hit KO. Ice Beam, I don't think would. And I take him out. That is really and truly amazing. Uh, great job, Kyoko. Anyway, now out is going to be uh, this this throw, and I, my only hope here, my only hope is that I get the freeze hacks. Uh, I don't miss, which is promising, but I don't get the freeze hacks either. He is going to go ahead and take me out, and that is going to be a good game. So, you know, 2-0, not the worst loss in the world. Uh, great game, uh, Super Yoshi the first one, comment, rate, subscribe.